Welcome to St. Francis Eastside and congratulations on your pregnancy. We're thrilled you've chosen St. Francis to be part of the one of the most important moments of your life, the birth of your baby. St. Francis is one of the most respected and experienced facilities for obstetrics. Our physicians and staff deliver thousands of babies each year and our care has long been considered the gold standard of care in the upstate. Today we'll take a tour of the hospital, we'll meet some of the nurses and staff, and help you to know what to expect during your hospital stay. One of the first questions we're usually asked is, when do I come to the hospital and how do I know if I'm in labor? This is an important question. We have a lot of classes, childbirth prep, to help you with that. Also, different doctors have different guidelines about when they prefer you to come to the hospital. So be sure to ask your doctor what he or she prefers at your next visit. When you arrive at St. Francis Eastside, find parking in the lots near entrance B. You're going to enter an entrance B, B for baby. Check at the registration desk, and if you pre-registered for your stay, you'll simply need to give your name, You'll go to the labor and delivery on the fourth floor and check in on the fourth floor welcome desk. A nurse or staff member will take you to your labor and delivery suite. The labor and delivery suites are all private rooms, each with their own private bathroom. While they have comforts of home, they are fully equipped with all the technology your doctor needs to ensure a safe delivery of your baby. This is our labor and delivery suite. Every room is equipped with a delivery bed. When you come in, this bed is actually in one piece, um, so you can sleep at night, um, but it also breaks down for delivery. Um, when we get ready to set up for delivery, we have an equipment room that is attached to your own suite, and so your personal delivery equipment is brought into your room, is set up for delivery, and your bed is broken down how it is now with the leg stirrups. Um, so that we can position you and deliver in the room that you're admitted into when you arrive. When you arrive in your labor and delivery suite, we'll ask you to change into a gown. From that point, um, you can enter your labor bed. We will check your vital signs. We will assess you, get some pertinent history um, related to your pregnancy. After that, we'll notify your doctor um, and let them know that you are here and that you've arrived. At that time, we receive orders. So if you would like an epidural or pain medication or would like the use of a birthing ball or um, showering or intermittent monitoring, um, that's the time that we address that with the physician. Every room has a radiant warmer. These warmers are used right after delivery for the babies. As soon as you deliver, we can place the baby on your abdomen um, as long as everything's okay and when you're ready for us, we can take the baby over to the warmer and from that point we will assess him or her and make sure that there's 10 fingers and 10 toes and, and do the footprints and take care of your baby book. Once the baby is in the warmer um, for a sufficient amount of time and they can maintain their temperature, then we will give your baby back to you and your significant other. Hi, my name is Charlotte Myers. Welcome to the Mother Infant Suite. Usually, a mother will come to our suite an hour after delivery. At St. Francis, we have a family-friendly philosophy. Um, we have the baby rooming in with the mother. They'll be at your bedside. The benefits of having the baby in the room with the parents, um, it gives you an opportunity to bond with the, with the baby, the family, and parents. Um, it also gives the mother and father an opportunity to get in a routine of taking care of an infant, but having the nurses there to guide you along the way. We have an open visiting policy, which means anyone, including children, can come and visit you and your baby. We just ask that if you need extra rest, that you um, tell your nurse and she can put a sign on your door to give you that time of rest. Our nurses are not only here to help you, we're also here to educate you about your newborn. Once the family comes over, we wait about an hour before we do the bath. That way the mom has time to bond with the baby and time to feed the baby and we can also make sure that the baby's temperature is stable. Once this is placed on the newborn, a mother and father can walk in the hallway as long as they have matching bracelets for the babies. And if they get close to a doorway or to a uh, elevator, then the alarm system will go off so we just ask that you be careful when walking close to these areas. When babies are taken out of the room, they do need to be placed in the bassinet, not held in your arms. 
A hearing screen is required by the state. The hearing screen is usually done 24 hours after the baby's born. A small cup is placed over the baby's ears. At that time, it picks up brain waves. It does not emit sound to the child. Usually after the baby's born, around two hours, the neonatal practitioner will come in and assess the baby from head to toe. Medical records will stop by your room, usually 24 to 48 hours after the baby is born. A birth certificate form will be provided for you by our medical records department. Around one o'clock, we do what is called interdisciplinary rounds. At that time, there will be a group of usually women who come and round on you. Uh, they include the from spiritual care. They include a massage therapist, a dietitian, uh, social services. At any time you need any of these people, you can request your nurse to request them. Nurses are the front line for when it comes to breastfeeding. If there are more complications that, uh, or the mom feels like there's more complications, then we have a lactation specialist which we will consult up with. I'm Mandy. I'm one of the lactation consultants that works here at St. Francis Eastside. Um, all of our lactation consultants are internationally board certified. While you're here with us, your nurse will be happy to help you with breastfeeding. And of course, if there is a problem or you have a question, Lactation consultants are available seven days a week. We will help you with problems or questions that you encounter while you're here in the hospital. And also, our lactation center carries a lot of really great breastfeeding items. We carry Medela breast pumps, we carry rental pumps, we carry a lot of really hard to find items as well. We also do bra fittings that can be done while you're in the hospital or those can be done really at any point, even after you've had your baby, you can come back and see us. We have an outpatient center as well, so even once you have gone home, if you end up with a problem or a question or you need something and you want to see someone again, we do outpatient visits Monday through Friday. Our patients are always free to call us after they've gone home as well. We have a breastfeeding line where you can call. Calls are returned within 24 hours. There is somebody here seven days a week that answers the phone. At St. Francis, our goal in lactation is to help moms meet their breastfeeding goals. The neonatal care unit at St. Francis Seaside is a level two nursery. We take care of the late preterm babies. A common question that I am asked is why would my baby need to come to the neonatal care unit? For preterm babies, they are simply too small and are not feeding well enough to immediately go home with mother. Sometimes they have temperature control instability and require special isolates to maintain their temperature initially. Sometimes they can't maintain their blood sugars and they need IV fluids or special feedings, gavage feedings with mother's breast milk to maintain their blood sugars until they're feeding better to go home. We do take care of babies with respiratory problems such as transient wetness of their lungs or premature lung disease. Uh, most of our nurses have 20 to 30 years experience in taking care of the special care nursery babies and several of our nurses are certified in neonatal intensive care nursing. We have different types of babies in here. We have uh, little preemie babies who are, some are as young as 32 weeks um, up to 38 weeks and then we also have some 38 to 40 week babies. They are considered term babies who may have like pneumonia or need some kind of other special attention. We have family centered care. We invite parents to visit as often as possible. Um, we give them our telephone number, so once they go home, we encourage them to call in the middle of the night anytime that they're getting apprehensive and they want to check on their babies. We also promote kangaroo care, which is a skin-to-skin -skin bonding of the baby. We put the baby on the mom's chest and is very beneficial for the mom and the baby. Before you leave the hospital, you'll complete paperwork for your baby's birth certificate. You'll schedule a follow-up appointment with your baby's pediatrician and you'll receive at-home instructions from your nurse and any other prescriptions from your doctor. Please remember South Carolina law requires all children to ride in properly installed safety seats, including the ride home from the hospital. Once home, please contact your pediatrician for questions about your baby, your OBGYN for questions about yourself, and St. Francis Lactation Consultants for any questions about breastfeeding. Thank you for joining us on the tour today. We look forward to welcoming a new little one to your family.